Albert Einstein said that we would never be able to see the edge of the world. Was he right? The Webb telescope has now seen a hole in the very early universe that might support this theory. But what do we really see? Is it really a void? Could it be the start of everything? Scientists may have found something shocking. A strange hole at the beginning of time may now prove Albert Einstein's amazing theory. Just think about how scientists slowly started to look past the edges of the Milky Way 100 years ago. They were shocked by what they saw. It started out as fuzzy nebulae, but later it became clear that they were actually other galaxies. First, the Andromeda Galaxy and the small and large Magellanic clouds could be seen. Then, the scientists were shocked to see how many more galaxies there were. Based on these discoveries, ideas like how galaxies change over time and the thought that the universe is endless came into being. Then, Edwin Hubble saw that galaxies far away were moving away from us. This is how the idea of expansion came to be. Soon after, a Belgian named Georges Lemaitre came up with the idea of the Big Bang. Things like this happened a little while after Albert Einstein talked about his ideas of relativity. Many of the researchers' purely theoretical guesses from the 1910s and 1920s came true when new things were found. Einstein, on the other hand, never knew for sure if the world really did have a start and an end. Einstein always knew the answer to another interesting question, even though he believed in the Big Bang theory. He was sure that no matter how good our telescopes are, we would never be able to see the beginning and end of the world. What does this have to do with the void that the James Webb Telescope found? How did Einstein come up with this idea? The horrifying prediction of Albert Einstein. Einstein was without a doubt one of the most important physicists of the 20th century. Many of the things he said are still important in current science. One very important thing to think about was the prediction that we would never be able to see the exact start of the world. This was because of two interesting things Einstein said. For starters, the Big Bang Theory and other ideas that are based on it say that there was no light for a very long time after the Big Bang. Scientists now call this time the Dark Ages. So how could binoculars help us see a time or event when there was no light? Today we have some cool answers to this question, like radio telescopes, which don't see but hear. On the other hand, scientists are pretty sure that the Big Bang wasn't a loud explosion, but rather a silent one. In a nutshell, the area where a loud explosion could have happened did not exist during the Big Bang. Space itself was created by the Big Bang, and as a result of that event, radio telescopes pick up waves that are usually very far away from the range of sounds that humans can hear. Space doesn't carry sound very well, and the interstellar medium only lets a few other waves through. These waves can be heard with today's technology, so we wouldn't really be able to hear the beginning of the world, which is thought to have been silent. In the 1960s, we found cosmic background radiation and have since made a very good picture of it. A lot of proof for the Big Bang has come from this radiation, which is thought to be an after effect of the Big Bang. We have never been able to directly connect the radio background to the Big Bang though, so it looks like we also can't find or prove the very beginning. Einstein thought we could never see all the way to the beginning or end of the world for another reason. He thought that because the universe was expanding and expanding, the beginning would get farther away from us and further away until it would be out of our line of sight. Albert Einstein also thought that space was curved sometimes. In other words, the starting point might be hidden behind a sky that will never let us see it. Then picture this happening again but this time the best telescopes could only blur nearby galaxies. Today, we know that there are millions of galaxies in a universe that is growing and getting bigger and bigger so fast that it might be hard to see very far. It's not true. There are so many galaxies and galaxy groups in the universe, but the gaps between them are so big that we can see 13.6 billion years away with our telescopes. That's very close to the Big Bang. We are already pretty close with the James Webb Space Telescope. A strange emptiness. 
The JWST found a strange empty space. You've probably heard that the JWST has found so many very old galaxies that they make the Big Bang look like a lie. But did you know that the JWST has found a strange void that might back up Albert Einstein's theory that the absolute beginning can't be seen? There are strange places in the universe called absolute voids that are so empty that they go against the idea of relativity. But how can they back up Einstein's ideas that the beginning can't be seen? At first, this was thought to be because of the silence, which was seen as a sign of the Dark Ages, when there wasn't much, at least no stars or galaxies. A few researchers think that the find at least proved that this epoch existed. Then the shock hit. The darkness turned out to be a very far away void. We also know about gaps that are closer and more recent. These gaps are already mysterious, but in the very early universe, they are scientifically impossible. They don't fit with the idea that the world is uniform, which is linked to the Big Bang or exponential growth. The voids are too big and weird. They are not all the same and go against some of the basic ideas of our cosmos. Even though a gap doesn't really prove Albert Einstein's theory, the Webb telescope does seem to support his view in another way. So far, the telescope hasn't found any signs of the universe's start or early stages. The pictures of what are thought to be the early universe only show galaxies and structures that don't look that different from what we can see in the universe now. Could this gap have been the start of everything? What do singularities mean? It now begs the question of whether a strange void could have been where the universe began. We can't say for sure that this isn't true because we don't know what gaps are in the end. We also have to say that we don't know how the universe started these days. It's likely that voids are empty, but we can't say for sure. They might have something inside them that we don't know about yet. Think about dark galaxies. Some people think that voids are alternate worlds, while others think that they are scar tissue from when universes crashed into each other in the multiverse. Some crazy ideas say that aliens darken the galaxies in a void to get energy from them. You can already see that these strange holes give scientists a lot to think about and cause them to come up with the craziest ideas. It's possible that the world we live in began in a big empty space. It's a stronger idea just because we can't prove the opposite. The question of how matter came to be is still open. What do you really mean by singularities? As we've already talked about, the world is said to have come from nothing. How could we see that point if it was the exact beginning? Since it wasn't anything, we weren't able to notice it. A singularity is a place where all forces are either so squished together that our measurements of values and sizes don't work, or where everything is concentrated into one point. There was total equilibrium at the point, which was made up of a fluctuation of possibilities. At some point, an unknown event is said to have broken this standstill, and creation started. Everything we know and can see today began with this very small point. This means that this tiny dot of nothing held information about you and me, all life on Earth, every star, and every asteroid. It is one of the great mysteries of science to figure out how an incredibly tiny dot of nothing can hold everything. It's not clear if we will ever be able to answer this puzzle. These strange points of no return are found in a different part of the universe, the middle of black holes. Then, these are at the center of almost every galaxy we know of. Scientists think that black holes are what are left over when stars of a certain size blow up. Nobody has ever been in the middle of a black hole, and as we've seen, there aren't many ways to see the very beginning of the universe, if it existed at all. Everything is based on calculations that made sense until the James Webb Telescope found something that wasn't in line with our ideas. The Webb Telescope proves that the universe is either much older than we thought or very different from what our models said it would be like. Another big mystery in physics is black holes. Because they are so big and heavy, and because all the forces inside them probably go to infinity, 
we will never be able to really explore this infinite point, the one with the singularity, using normal means. We are all putting our hopes on new supercomputers, which will be smart enough to figure out the mysteries of the world and show us how everything is connected. In order to do this, scientists are now using the intelligence of quanta, which are thought to hold all the information in the visible world. At the same time, other chip technologies use water's ability to store energy to make strange computer power.